I'm Hannah Trigwell, and in today's Music Without Theory episode, we are going to discuss Do animals really like music? Meow, meow. <laughs> it's not like that. You've seen the videos the parrots bobbing their heads, the gorillas busting some moves. I've seen videos of giraffes, dogs getting emotional. So far in this mini series, we've spoken a lot about our human brains and how they process music. But what about animals? Do they feel the same about music as we do? Leaving the radio on for our pets when we leave the house has become common practice. We assume that pets listening to music that we would like to listen to on a low volume would soothe them. Is it just the background noise that soothes them? Or is it that they are emotionally connecting to music in the way that we do? There have been numerous studies that explore whether animals connect with music in the same way that humans do. In an unpublished study, researchers Dr. Adrian North and Liam McKenzie from the University of Leicester found that playing music to cows had an unusual effect when it came to their milk production. The cows actually produced a lot more milk when they listened to relaxing, slow music like Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. and Beethoven's Pastoral Symphony. During the study, the cows produced 3% more milk when they were listening to this relaxing music. Is it coincidence? Is it not? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Personally, I think that music does affect animals. I'm not sure if they emotionally connect to every single word because we don't speak the same language but I think animals probably do get the gist of what they're listening to but you should probably listen to researchers over just my opinion. <laughs> Another study conducted by Scottish SPSA and the University of Glasgow suggested that dogs preferred to listen to reggae and soft rock over any other musical genres. Interesting. During the study, five types of music were played to dogs which were staying in kennels, and this was soft rock, classical, pop, reggae, and Motown. The study showed that overall, the dogs experienced the greatest decrease in stress when they were listening to soft rock and reggae. But most studies around this topic have found that animals aren't actually interested in human music. An animal psychologist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison recently discovered that animals do actually enjoy what he defines as species-specific music. That's a mouthful. Species-specific music. This refers to music that has been specifically designed using pitches, tones and tempos familiar to that particular animal's species. The psychologist's 2015 study found that while cats were happy to ignore human music, they were very engaged with music that was specifically designed for cats. This doesn't mean replicating cat sounds within the music, like meow, meow, <laughs> it's not like that. It's about using pitches and tones that are familiar to cats. This means that it's appealing to cats. For example, one of the cat songs used in the study had its tempo based around a cat's purr. As discussed in our previous episodes, why do we like music and creating emotion? Humans also tend to prefer music that falls within our own acoustic and vocal range and uses tones that we can easily understand and progresses at a tempo similar to our own heartbeat. So maybe we're not so different from our furry friends after all. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Do you think animals really enjoy music? Have you seen those videos of the birds bopping their heads and dancing? It blows my mind every time. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time.